First thing I have to do is get out of the seat because the seat reminds me of what I'm going to have when I retire when I'm sitting in front of the television all day. So I feel I've got to get up immediately. Um, yeah, a very good evening to everyone. Um, I'm going to do a brief instru introduction. Then we're going to have one word from each of the speakers just so if you haven't read the brochure and you've turned up that you know who they are. And then we're going to get into the sort of the substance of the evening. I, I just want to start off because um, Ben and Jerry's is all about fun and I've had a great day at their offices. Uh, the thing I loved most was finding out about their canine policy um, and uh, for all the dogs they have in the office and, and especially the resolution committee that is formed when two dogs don't get on. And, uh, and I thought, you know, that, that can only happen at Ben and Joe. So I thought that was fantastic. Um, but uh, while, it's, uh, while we're here to inspire and, uh, and create hope, um, I'm going to sort of rain on the parade uh, at the beginning just to remind us of, of the realities out in the world, because uh, tomorrow morning uh, we've got the um, unveiling of the IPCC um, study, which is going to show that um, we are heading towards catastrophe on a, on a global scale that puts the very uh, future of our civilization and everything we cherish um, to be, uh, that everything we cherish in our lives to be put at risk. So, um, and that's just on climate change. We have a number of problems in the world that are racing ahead of us, whether it's uh, resource scarcity, whether it's ecosystem collapse, whether it's bio loss of biodiversity, whether it's uh, resource scarcity. Uh, we've just got so many issues, plus a population that is uh, booming um, and very little uh, awareness. So uh, one of the things, as an English person coming to America, is just the extraordinary um, difficulty to even talk about climate change. And I was talking to the global head of sustainability at UPS, the sort of delivery company, and he was talking about all the good stuff they were doing, and then he said, and even if you don't believe in climate change, then uh, it's still a good thing to do. And I said, gosh, that's really weird. Why, why did you feel the need to say that? Why do you say even if it doesn't exist when we know it exists? And he said, well, because I can't, there's so many people I can't talk to who do believe it exists. And, and it, just, it just reminded me of the, of the, the fight we have here. Uh, that we're living in a society, that, a system that is like a runaway train high, uh, heading towards the cliff. And so that's the sort of bad news, or the, or the, or the challenging news. And, and, but we're here to look for solutions, because we see that big business is often not doing very much. It's caught up in the very system. We're all caught up in this very addictive system of consumption and growth. Um, but here along comes uh, the social entrepreneurs who are actually challenging the system, showing there's another route, showing it is possible to do good and to make money and to, uh, to bring the passion and humanity and lifeblood back into business to, to show that business can be a force of, uh, of change and can be a force of good in society. So that's why we're concentrating on that tonight. Um, and uh, the way we're going to do this is, uh, once I've introduced the speakers, we're going to each speaker is going to have a maximum of five minutes to present one big idea of how we're going to save the world or something like that. And then um, I'm going to ask them a couple of questions and so we're going to keep the energy moving as fast as we can. So we're going to pile through these speakers and, um, and then at the end of it uh, we're going to have plenty of time for questions. So I mean this is uh, to be interactive and we want your views, it's not just a, a one-way conversation. If you are desperate in the middle to say something or you think it's all going the wrong way or you think we're completely missing point, um, you can intervene at any point, but I, I will not allow lots of intervention. But if you're just desperate to say something, I'll put your hand up and I'll try and come to you. But um, before we start, I'm going to ask each speaker just to give their name and uh, one sentence of who they are and, uh, and why they're here. So just.